Y'all, what a day. What a day, man. Busy day at work. Oof, I'm tired. But anyways, we got a new figure to check out from Masterverse. This is our Masters Universe new Eternia uh, original designs inspired by classic concepts. This is the Horde Trooper, which would uh, be freaking cool. So, yeah. And um, I've got two of them because I was going to at least get two. I don't have enough to totally build an army because you look at the side of the package, you can see Eternian foot soldiers and like Eternian palace guards or whatever. You can see wind raiders, which I got a classics wind raider that would totally work for these guys. So that's cool. I don't wonder if they'll re release a wind raider. And they're on sky sleds too, as you can see. If we flip the box over, you can see them on sky sleds right there, like from the battle ram. And yeah, it's freaking cool. And more horde troopers and some little sky sled that they're on. So there you go. Anyways, yeah, let's get these guys kind of unboxed and check them out. But we'll, first, we'll start with this one. We'll just kind of see what's up. And here we go. Horde Trooper. Horde Trooper. The evil enforcer of Hordak. The evil Horde Empire spreads across the decimated remains of New Eternia like a virus. Hordak commands his legions of Horde Troopers to attack and take all his prisoners, each designed for the Fright Zone. These pitiable souls, uh, pitiable souls are then mind wiped, brainwashed, and retrained as Horde Troopers, perpetuating the cycle until Hordak rules the entire planet. So there you go, that's pretty crazy, man. There's a nice Horde emblem with the new Eternia right there. That's pretty cool, man. That would make for a good tattoo, I'm not gonna lie. And let's see, we've got this little diorama piece or backdrop. Oh, and then our Horde Trooper flaps right out. And then, yeah, dang, he is a huge sucker, dude. This guy is big. This is a mega fig for uh, Masterverse. Let me not lie. And then we have Fright Zone Tower. That's freaking cool, man. So I don't know if they'll try to make this happen or not. But yeah, and then look, there's the Fright Zone. So, man, who knows if they're going to make that happen. Because I remember when we were doing the um, the vote for the next GoFundMe thing or whatever, Mattel Creations. I wanted a Fright Zone, updated Fright Zone. Everybody else wanted this crazy, stupid Snake Mountain. I mean, that's not stupid. It actually looks really cool. But it was going to be, I think, almost bigger than Eternia, dude. Or just as big. And it's like, dude, that's crazy. But it had a cool, like, little Iron Maiden you could put He-Man in and stuff. That was kind of cool, too. And a cool, like, snake, mechanical snake contraption that was, like, a vehicle, too. That was looked cool and, like, a lot of cool stuff. But, yeah, I wanted a Fright Zone originally. So, well, maybe they're going to make that happen. I don't know. But, yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and get this guy uh, free. Set him free. Both of them free. And, uh, and, yeah, or just this one, maybe. We'll just set him free and check it out. I open, and we'll open his little goodie box to see what else that we have. Horde Trooper, Evil Enforcer of Hordak. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's see what's up. I think that's her. Okay, it's this piece. Oh, I guess this goes in the back where you can plug in his little staff. So there you go. You can pop that in there like so, I believe. So yeah, you can carry that or just have the sword or whatever, both. And this staff's pretty cool. It's like his little laser club thing that they have. But it's a longer, bigger version. You can see all kinds of little circuitry and tech in there. And sculpted into there. And then I was looking at this. I was like, yeah, that looks like it's supposed to be articulated. And I was like, is it just one solid mold? And I looked, and I was like, no, it's not. So, yeah, you can, uh, its wings come out. So, I imagine if it's in attack mode, uh, or if you're going to shoot lasers or some kind of force blast or whatever, yeah, that would be attack mode. And that would be just, like, standby mode, I would believe. Or you could use it to also just, like, um, like hack and stab people too or whatever you know or whatnot but yeah it's like a little dragon so that's freaking cool then he has a sword big old sword because look at my hand i got big i'm six foot tall and i've got big man hands it's a big sword it's a big freaking sword with a nice hordak emblem on it so there you go freaking cool and yeah we'll take a closer look at this guy first off yeah. he's pretty chunky pretty chunky figure pretty chunky so the head does twist we're not going to take off the helmet yet just yet but it does twist about there's a nice a lot of nice airbrushing or whatever shading with silvers and blacks all along so that's freaking cool this looks like a giant robot man more than just a horde trooper guy it looks just like a big mega robot and he also has drop down hips too so there's drop down hips let's see even a horde bat on the bottom of the feet. Freaking crazy little serial number. And look, looks like there's, yeah, there is a hinge there, but it looks, feels pretty, like it's gonna be pretty tight. And that hinge or whatever at the bottom of the feet. 
Yeah, there you go. It's pretty tight. And it does swivel a bit, but it's going to be hindered by this lower leg armor. And you got double knees. It's got double knees. Uh, there's no swivel. Oh, there's a swivel. Upper thigh swivel. So there you go. That's cool. And they can't do splitsies. It's going to be hindered a little bit by these little armor discs right there that are just attached. And let's see his arms go out into a perfect T. And they swivel. So yeah, there you go. And there's a bicep swivel. There's an elbow. You can bend both ways. You can be, I guess, double jointed if you want to. And a swivel. And then a side hinge and swivel with the hand. Look at some of the detail on the hand. There's a lot of detail all around. It's pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking awesome. And the waist. Got a waist twist. And then you got an upper midriff twist. So he's got range. He's got a little range side to side, back and forth. Swivels all around. And then there's even some translucent red plastic in there too. That's crazy if you can see it right there. That's weird. I don't know if this can, can this come off? It doesn't look like it can come off. Actually, it feels like it should, but you know. Whoop, whoop, there we go. So this pops off. That pops off. You can see a little bit of red in there. Wow, this is crazy. And then there's our little, it looks like a little goblin orc, like vampire type dude. You can see he's got some scarring on his brow, on his, I guess that would be his left brow. And he's got some teeth. Freaking cool. Doesn't look like this is supposed to come out though. Like, cause you can see underneath it, like, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to pop out. Oh, that does pop out. Okay, there we go. So let's pop it out. And there you go, man. There's some more just translucent coolness. So that's interesting. That's freaking cool. That's nuts, man. That's fun. That's fun. That is weird. That is cool, man. That is freaking cool. Freaking cool beanie weenies, man. So yeah, this dude's like stuck in this body, man. He's like just a mindless, mindless drone. Oh yeah, and he can nod and he can twist his head about and stuff like that. So there you go. Yeah, that's freaking cool, man. Freaking really neat. Really neat figure. Anyways, I'm going to get him accessorized at some point and we'll, you know, get that going. That's freaking cool. I like that. I was, I was glad because I didn't know if you're going to be able to see through the helmet and stuff so yeah you can see through that so that's awesome that is really cool anyways let's get this guy kind of accessorized and posed up a bit there's two you can just twist the helmet side to side too so that's cool and here we have our herd trooper in a battle pose this is freaking awesome man it's been a while since i mean we get motu stuff all the time over here i'm, I'm missing a lot of the uh stuff lately though i'm missing quite a few figures but i'm not gonna belly oak over it because i have hundreds of motu figures <laughs> vintage and origins and a little bit of classics like it used to have, but not as much. And Mondo. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this figure is cool. I like him a lot, man. I like uh, it's It's freaking awesome. Um, I'm glad I have two. Um, if I could get one more down the road, yeah, that would be cool. But um, I'm not going to freak out. You know, if there's a, ever time to get one more, that would be awesome. And um, But other than that, two is fine for me right now. Um, yeah, because this is totally something you could... Seems like you'd want to do customs with or something like that, you know. But the pose is awesome. The pose is freaking there. It's super freaking cool. Super freaking awesome. Love this figure. Love this figure. It's really great. Really, really, really great. Really great. I love it. But anyways, I get giddy like a schoolgirl with uh, with Motu for sure because it is a childhood, long time favorite. So yeah, it's freaking awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, man, we'll do some size comparisons because we got to. Got to. I'll, I'll, people will be pissed if I don't do size comparisons. Um, so yeah, let's do that real quick and be done with the video. And here are all the size comparisons. He's a little over eight inches. Just a, just a hair over eight inches, man. Just a, just a little bit over eight inches, if you can see back there. And a standing up straight. And here he is next to um, Flink from his uh, on his right and his left. Uh, freaking um, good old uh, new attorney at Trap Jaw and Robin from. Um, Crisis on Infinite Earths, or Earth 2 Robin from McFarlane Toys. Here's an Origins Demo Man with the skull head on, because I don't know what I did with the Demo Man head. I don't know what. But anyways, and um, and there's good old old dirty bastard from Wu-Tang. Um, Wu-Tang Clan. Um, God rest his soul. 
uh, from Super 7 Ultimates. So if that gives you an idea how big this figure is, there you go, man. He's pretty freaking jumbo, dude. Jumbo jumbo figure. And we're going to do one more thing before we call this video Dunsky. Here's our He-Man head. This is the, uh, that's the 40th anniversary He-Man, I think. Was it? Can't remember. I don't know. It's it's the anniversary He-Man header we have. I don't know. I forget, man. I'm so behind, or whatever. I'm so be I, don't, I don't know. Bewildered by the amount of Motu that I have, um, which isn't that much because there's people who have way more. But anyways, it doesn't matter. That's, that's just me. But anyways, um, yeah, that's freaking cool. He's in a Horde Trooper disguise, so that's freaking cool. You can do that. And let's see if this will close down on his big old molded head. Yeah, it does. It actually fits on there. So yeah, you can have, if you have any, sh you know, sh not, you can't put Shira's hair in there, obviously, unless you just cut her hair off like super high and like, you know, and then you can put Shira's head in there. But yeah, you can do head swaps for it. So if you got heads that will fit from uh, Origins, I mean, I think both Origins and um, Motu or whatever, or like Masterverse will fit. So yeah, there you go, man. Freaking awesome, man. Cool, cool figure. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching y'all and have a good one. All right, later.